Hey guys, welcome back to another part of Star Wars Battlefront. In this part, we'll be taking on the final battle of the Clone Wars for this game, the Battle of Kashyyyk. The Separatists have launched a desperate attack on the Wookiee homeworld. We cannot allow this planet to fall into Separatist hands. Defend Kashyyyk and drive the enemy off the planet. The Wookiee homeworld is under attack by an invading drone army. Prevent the Separatists from establishing a beachhead. The observation platforms are excellent vantage points for snipers. So yeah, desperate attack by the Separatists in the later stages of the war. It's actually, um, the only thing they really gave away about Revenge of the Sith was this, because this game take, came out way before Revenge of the Sith had hit theaters, so they really couldn't give away anything about that movie, so Kashyyyk was the only thing they really were willing to give away. So, yeah. And also, because obviously Revenge of the Sith was, wasn't close to coming out, no Revenge of the Sith music, so. And, said it's not exactly the same as, like, it was in the movie, but whatever. So my main strategy is not to go after the beach front property command post. Basically it's to capture the docks. So I'm just gonna throw some grenades, try to clear out that early rush of droids because again I have real trouble killing enemies running from water and they just swarm that beachhead command post from the water and I just get torn to shreds. So I'm just gonna get some clones to follow me and I've really cleared out the droids here so let's just try to run up capture it and let's see if can we okay good right, that's the main problem of those destroyers again they are a problem both out in the open and in close quarters while the republic definitely have a, the defensi defensive advantage here with total high ground control and excellent sniping positions the droids do have some offensive advantages because they have both spider droids and AATs to assault with so those AATs can really tear the defenses to shreds, so... Yeah, it's kind of even things out. Public has more defense, Separatists have a lot more offensive crap here. So yeah. Final mission of the Clone Wars, wa la 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 da da da. So yeah, this one obviously starts out with 250 reinforcements aside. I need cover yes, fire. Right and anyway, just, yeah. So, yeah, do do do. Now I'm just gonna run over here and try to take the other dock. I don't want to move right th through enemy territory because it's wide out in the open. So I'm just gonna hide behind this health droid. And gosh dang, would your shield go down already? Okay, take him out. Yes, okay. And didn't give me the kill, even though I did most of the work. Okay, let's try to move over here. The only thing is, the space between the two sides is just wide open space, so I don't have trouble when it comes to that. Again, they do have, these destroyers have some trouble, especially if you're this far above it, it can't even target you, it can't come close, so yeah, just wait for shield to run out or fire on it and take it out and blah blah blah. And also, I didn't mention, you have the Wookiees as allies in this battle, and they're pretty tough, and with the defensive advantage along with these guys, it really counterbalances their vehicle advantage they have. So, yeah. And I'm totally out of EMP grenades, so I'm throwing con concussion grenades now. And while they can do some damage to um, enemy infantry, they don't have the splash damage of thermal detonators or EMPs, so not as effective on large groups. Or just a stay away from me kind of thing. Alright, let's try to take care of that destroyer. Alright. Man, destroyers really aren't giving me as much trouble as I usually do in this game. Maybe part of it is because the difficulty is now going down and I'm used to having to deal with them on hard mode, which is much more annoying. Whatever. Alright, so. Oh. No, oh, I'm not dead. I thought I was dead there. Okay, I don't know what hit us. There's something near here. Yeah, that's annoying. Something fired on us. One of their AATs. More likely a spider droid since those AATs can't fire very high. 
Well, yeah, they can if they. But it wasn't. You know, it's like from the water, they couldn't fire up that high. I don't think. Is they're really far away, which I don't know. So yeah, let's just heal up. And oh crap. So yeah, they took back the first dock, which really annoying. But we still have some. Pulling ahead in reinforcements, so that's always good. Oh, jeez. Two destroyers. Okay, okay, one of their shields is down. Take them out, come on, die, die, die! Oh, and one thing in this game, instead of recoil, the blaster will slowly lose accuracy the longer you fire. So, eventually, you'll reach the point where it's just firing off wildly, which gets to be a bit annoying. But, it kind of prevents you from just spamming the fire button the entire time, so it's kinda why it's there. So you know that really just substitute for recoil. Like it only really happens for assault rifles since so nothing really else has that high rate of fire, so it's just kind of a balancing act, I guess. You'd say. Whatever. I mean if that didn't happen I'd probably get a lot more kills, but that's kind of the point. So, basic assault soldiers don't just tear everything to shreds in every situation. Yeah, look, he is being meat shield here. Um, yeah, I'm in a bad position. Okay, let's try to take out that destroyer before he gets back up. Ah, crap. I'm dead. Oh, I think the sniper got me. Yeah. It's kind of annoying on this level. Snipers for the droids also will just sit there. Uh, Sometimes, like, further back in the docks, and, yeah. So I'll just sit there, I'm gonna come back here and try to take that dock, because they're just really, got too much over there, maybe this one will be a little bit light, lighter defended. And we got droids all over the place. Yeah, sniper will just sit further back on the docks behind his allies, and just try to snipe the crud out of you. And they are decently accurate, especially on hard mode. Like, if you just stand still, they're going to get you most of the time. Alright. Try to wait out a shield. I'm dead. Wait. Wait. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. Alright, now the destroyers are starting to get a little payback, it would seem. And we're up uh, around 50 men now. Something about 45. Yeah, it's 45 at this point. Um, do, do, do. Right, so we do have the edge, but we have one more command post than us. Which means if they lose one, they're still not losing reinforcements, which is kind of a drawback. So, I just want to get out and capture that one insurance command post at the very least. To ensure nothing crazy happens. Right, so let's just try to move up and take care of these guys. Alright. Is that okay. okay? Oh, great! There's a swarm of them. I'm in trouble. Yeah, again, in hard mode, I would probably already be dead at this point with all them because they're a little more accurate. In hard mode. So, okay, taking care of that. Oh great, there's a spider droid right there. I guarantee you he's gonna try to kill me at some point. It's funny, sometimes he'll just walk right past you and- Oh yeah, he's, he fired a laser. And medical droid gave his life for me. Okay, please don't- Wait. Oh, thing got out of it, so I'm safe from that for now. We've captured a command I can jump over and use that, but it's really slow, not worth it so far. back in there, which means I'm out of here before he kills me. And he got me. Knew that was gonna happen. Right before I got away from his line of sight, he takes me out. Yeah, we're up by about 50 guys still. So they're not making a push, and they probably won't at this point. So, basically just hold the line, play the rest of them out, and that's pretty much it for this. Also, 
Bots can be really stupid if they fall off the docks, like you saw. Some of the guys just sitting around. They'll sometimes just stand in the water like complete idiots. Like, I don't know what to do. And that can get kind of annoying late. Game when you just Over gotta kill a few more and. And don't really. And it'd be faster to kill them than run around trying to capture the command post on the far side of the dog. So, yeah, whatever. Oh, did do. Yeah, they're really losing ground fast now, and yeah, there's that stupid droid again. And again, I'm really bad at shooting enemies in water. It's showing. Right there. Anyways, yeah. Again, there are headshots in this game. So, yeah, definitely want to utilize that. I'm trying to do that. The only enemy unit that doesn't get headshotted, or the only unit in the game that can't get headshotted is the destroyer. For obvious reasons, he is taken out fast enough when his shield is down, and if you could headshot him, when he's rolling up, you could just get a lucky shot on his head and kill him, and that'd be kind of cheap. So, yeah, kind of another balancing thing. Whatever. Alright, so this battle is winding down, basically just to clear out the last few droids. Like, they pretty much lost this thing. Oh, they have lost this thing, it's finished. So just take care of the last few droids and... I also one thing... that's really annoying me is that on medium you can still see enemy units on the map. I don't know why, I think they should have just had that for easy. Just, I mean, because on hard they're not there and I don't know why they would put them on medium. It's really annoying. I can understand doing that. I mean, yeah, put that on easy, but medium? Really? Come on. And also because it's kind of annoying because I don't really use it to see if there's enemies close to me because if I can hear their fire, then they're close to me and I know they're there. So I pay more attention to their fire because that's the only time you can see them on the map in hard anyways is when they fire. So, Oh, I want to show this off. If you throw a random grenade here, dead fishies. Yeah, that's kind of funny. I, I like that they put that in. That's kind of funny. Kill the fishies. Yeah, you got a little fish swimming around too. And also, one thing that's really stupid that the droids do is that if you're completely underwater, you'll like slowly die, and that counts for droids too. So destroyers that spawn from the far command post will try to roll out at you from the water and end up killing themselves. So yeah, complete idiots. But yeah. Final battle of the Clone Wars, 55 and 6, not too bad. The rest of my side wasn't doing too well, whatever. It's not like the droids were exactly tearing us to shreds. Looks 1 of the 1, 7 and 22. Okay, so 13 headshots. We've got Survivalist, Public Enemy, and Deadeye. Bantha Fodor is the most death tank buster, most vehicle kills, killing spree is the most enemies killed in a 5 second window, camper is the longest time spent in one spot, so yeah. I think I can explain them all. If I miss one, I'll say it next time. Whatever. Okay. So yeah, now that we've took care of the Clone Wars, no credits roll until you beat the Black Civil War too, so you have to beat both campaigns to get that. So in the next part, we'll start off Galactic Civil War with Tatooine Desert Extermination. See you guys then.